it's a, it's a, was a real problem trying to select which 12 authors we would include in the book because we realised there were, there were so many that, that could have a place and we very much wanted to ensure that there were um, some representatives of the variety of, of voices available in antiquity but also we were quite concerned to, to utilise authors that meant something to us or, or mm -hmm. about whom we, we felt we particularly had something we wanted to say or to investigate. So, for example, in, in my case, writing about Tacitus, um, I would say that uh, it was really kind of through Tacitus that I first came to be interested in the ancient world, uh, partly because when I was um, a convent schoolgirl, I started to read uh, Robert Graves's I, Claudius, um, between the pages of the lives of the saints, unbeknownst to the nuns, because it was far more interesting. And um, what really struck me about Graves's work was the representation of women of the imperial household, essentially as mainly poisoners and prostitutes. And I thought that was very curious and um, you got a sense of the power of the women but power directed in a very sort of sexualized way. So one thing I really wanted to do when I went to university was to learn about the, the sources and what was actually said about the imperial household and one of the things I learnt in, in reading Tacitus and as I tried to present it in, in, in the book was that sense that what he was doing was explaining the way in which the sexual had now become political in the Roman world because the Republic had fallen and power was invested in the imperial house. So the women in the corruption of the women of the imperial house is a way of representing the corruption of the, the state at large. So yes, we have picked up uh, the texts that have uh, really meant an awful lot to us personally and it is uh, our own personal voice is certainly there. Um, but uh, uh, equally, if we'd just done that, there would have been other authors that would have probably filled, um, uh, made it into the, the top 12. Um, I mean, in Maria's case, mm -hmm. we've written on Propertius, who didn't quite make it. I've written no, a lot on Plutarch, you know, really interesting, attractive authors. So we've, we've tried to be alert, too, to how they can be particularly rich for this sort of conversation and uh, certainly different people finding different things. We were looking too to areas um, where there have been spats, where there have been quarrels among modern authors. Mm. Uh, when I was writing about Herodotus for instance, um, we start there from a, uh, uh, a little spat in the Guardian Letters column a few years ago where there was an exhibition at the British Museum uh, called uh, Forgotten Empire. Uh, with uh, was it really was the you know, the empire of Persia and the Achaemenid Empire uh, was that really so marvelous artistically? Perhaps the Greeks were so much better after all, and there was a really rather bad tempered uh, uh, dispute in the letter column, uh, which brought out again if you just start with Herodotus, um, how you can find things there that rather encourage you uh, to feel that uh, you know. Greeks are best, West is best, uh, and there are other times that may make you extremely uneasy with the way you've just found yourself thinking. The text again sucks you in. It's a, mm. it's a, it's a continuing, continuous surf ride through a text like that.